Hey guys, this is crazy. I can't believe college is over. My freshman year is over. Like, this is just unbelievable. Like, I did it. My GPA is great. I did good my first semester. I did even better my second semester. It is just all great. You have to excuse my voice because I'm kind of like, pollen is kind of irritating me right now. But I'm so glad it's over though because I need a break from work. I'm just going to enjoy the summer. I might get a job and everything, but this semester was great. I found a great group of friends the second semester. First semester, I was kind of like here and there, just hanging out and stuff. But this semester, I found a great group of friends. And it was just great. And I did some, one of you guys asked my most embarrassing moment. My most embarrassing moment in college was when I overheated pancakes in a microwave and I went to the bathroom and when I came out because like I put it on like 30 minutes and they were like pancakes and I put it on 30 minutes on accident I thought I clicked three minutes <laughs> so when I came out the bathroom it was like smoke everywhere the detector went off the fire alarm went off to believe the police came and everything had to turn it off it was so embarrassing because everybody was like who set off the alarm but yeah that was my most embarrassing moment so Enough of that, I decided to do like a little special for you guys, answering the last questions that I have, because I know I didn't answer all of them. So, I did a little special with me and my friends. So, here it is. I hope you guys enjoy it, and good luck to you guys that's going into college. I have guest stars, so you can hear other people's opinions about different stuff. I'm Narissa. I'm Lauren. I'm Lydia. The first question is, how was it meeting your roommate and how was that experience? Well, for me, it was normal because I like people, so meeting my new roommate, it was, wasn't nothing to me. I was excited and she was excited because we were alike, but my experience, we get along, I love her, and yeah. I don't really like my roommate now because, well, I don't really like people, even though I have Two brothers and two sisters, but meeting new people is not really for me because I'm not a people person. And my roommate, how we got along, we don't really get along still. So it's like she has her space and I have mine. So how did you guys deal with like meeting new people coming in, not knowing anybody, just meeting new friends? Were you nervous? How did you feel about it? I'm a I'm a very friendly person, so it's not hard for me to make friends at all. And a way to make new friends if you don't know anyone is social networking. I met Ashley through Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> and for me, I was really nervous coming to college. I was like, like the first day I went in, I was crying. Because I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to have any friends. I'm not going to know anybody. But now, I have a great set of friends. So you have five friends. You shouldn't be nervous about it. How do you focus on your schoolwork? Because there's a lot of stuff going on in college. You have all these events and parties. So how do you stay focused on your schoolwork? Well, it's really just time management, staying focused. It's really hard because there's a lot of work. you got to figure out when to do what. And it's like, oh my gosh, am I going to get through all this? Because everything is like piled up. And sometimes things are due at the same time. So it's really time management. They give you all this free time, but it's like up to you. You still want to do your work or not. And you just gotta, you gotta manage your social and your school work, everything. You just gotta work. So, you're a freshman <laughs> in college and there's all these boys around. How do you do it? How do you deal with dating? Um, I'm currently still in a committed relationship right now. And it's a long distance relationship. And how you do a long distance relationship is basically you just have to work at it. You have to know what you want <clears throat> and your morals and when to keep your distance and just keep in touch and know that you want to be with that person. So some dormitories are co-ed, some aren't. Are this co-ed? So how do you guys like living in co-ed dormitory for the people who might choose to live in co-ed? I personally love living in a co-ed dormitory. Um, it's fun. Like you meet a lot of people. Um, you meet a lot of friends and it's not how people make it seem like, oh my gosh, everybody's going to be having sex with everybody, it's boys and girls. Because some people just talk to one person, or even if there are people having sex with everybody, it's just 
the fun part, like you meet everybody and you guys hang around because you're together in the same dormitory. Um, co-ed doors, I just really fun. like you just meet everybody like they said, it's just really fun. And like late nights, everybody, like nobody sleeps, so it's like everybody's just up in the lobby just having fun. So that's the main reason I like it because it's fun. Yeah, and our dorms are like freshman dorms, just freshmen are in here, so like we're all just freshmen, it's just alright. It's our first year of college, everybody's yeah. just the we same. We all have the same experience. How is it like being on your own? Like for the first time, leaving home, <laughs> were you homesick, how'd you deal with it, being on your own? Well, I used to go home every single weekend because I only lived like 45 minutes away. But being here, it was very diff a really different experience, and I like being here more than I like being at home because my parents do the most. So it ranges. I mean, I'm very happy being here and being on my own. I was the most excited to get here from home because, like, I came from a strict home. Like, it was just so many rules. But here, like, I get to just do whatever I want without. My parents just being down my back. So how was it separating from your set friends at home? Like for the people you grew up with all the way to high school, now you're not with them. How is it separating from them? Are they jealous? Do you still keep in touch? My best friend, she know I'm not gonna replace her. I mean, even though we're separated, she gets jealous, she knows she comes for herself. So. Yeah, they are still my friends back at home. Nothing changes. And for me, I'm, it's all about, like, if they're your friends, you're going to keep in touch with them. Like, if you want them to be in your life, you'll still keep in touch. So it's not that hard. It's just that to make sure you communicate and everything. Yes, they might get a little bit jealous because you're all on Instagram and Twitter with your new friend and stuff. But at the end of the day, they're still going to be there. Just let them know. When you go home, you'll see them in the summer. You'll see them. So How was it on the first day trying to find your classes and being that new girl on campus? Um, first day of classes, um, we have an app here on, that we can get on our phone, so I kind of knew where to go. But with being nervous and scared, you no, know, it's just like it's like a first new day of high school. You're in a new class with new people. What? <laughs> the same. We went around and just looked for the classes, but after that, like, I didn't really need help looking for anything. It was just easy. So were y'all sad when your parents left y'all? No. No, because I kind of went home the week after that, but you know, I, I, I wasn't sad going home because I knew I was going to go home and see them, so it's not like they were going away forever. How do you guys feel this is different from high school? College, how's college different from high school? In, in okay, um, well, mindset. in college, most people, because you know high school, people are worried about, you know, being popular or being um, the nerd or whatever. Well, here it's not really like that. People just act how they're supposed to act. It's not like people put on a show to see, you know, oh, are they going to like me or not? It's either you like the person or you don't. It's not, nobody puts on a show for anybody. So it's really kind of different from high school. My advice is don't waste your money, your parents' money, because in high school, nobody's paying for it. Here, somebody's paying for it. So go to class, especially. That's the easy way to get at least a C. Go to, because they count attendance here a lot. Um, so it's probably that other university. So go to class, manage your time well. You can still have a lot of fun, but do your work at the same time. Don't get this focus and don't be nervous on finding new friends. Just let it flow. Just don't be nervous on finding new friends. Just let it flow like it's supposed to flow. And join organizations if you can't find friends, because you'll find friends then for sure. So yeah, that's it. I think we all had a pretty good freshman year of spirits. Mm -hmm. So good luck to all of you and see you next time.